Cracking open a large white package of goodies, John McDonald from Audience sent for review. I found a couple of separate smaller packages containing the AU24SE phono cables and the Ono speaker cables, which I'll be focusing on a separate review down the road. Digging through miles and miles of paper padding, I thought to myself, um, did he forget the speakers? Fortunately, waiting patiently, at the bottom was a much smaller box than I expected, confirming these speakers are much tinier than the photos appear to be online. Pulling the OnePlus ones out of the foam bracing and cotton cases, I realized another thing the online photos don't convey all that well. Fit and finish is drop dead, shut the front door, call the cops and kiss your mom goodbye amazing. I mean, wow. These things look beautiful, clean lines, perfect gloss finish and woodwork that butts up evenly with a jet black body. I gotta say folks, I've seen speakers reach $10,000 that don't look this good. A plus goes to team audience for hitting a grand slam home run in the build quality department. For those unfamiliar with the Audience OnePlus Ones, these speakers are designed around a wideband 3-inch driver that delivers all the music you throw at it without the help of a crossover. Using a bipole configuration, the front and back 3-inch drivers are active, while the larger drivers on the side of the cabinets are passive. Without getting wrapped up in the complexity of the tech and saving you the trouble of blabbing away about the info that you can easily find on Audience's website, the bottom line is this. While the OnePlus Ones are very small and the bipole design will have some placement limitations, they are designed to sound much larger than you might expect. Coming in at a retail price of $1,800, these little guys reach a price point that suggests Audience isn't playing games and they are passionate about the OnePlus Ones. Does that passion pay off? New Record Day is about to find out. The first time I plopped down the OnePlus Ones down on my makeshift end tables that are not the last word in stability in the audiophile world, I started with the OnePlus Ones placed about a foot from the front wall and about six to seven feet apart. I began the review process with one of my favorite records, Ben Howard's Every Kingdom. I used all my reference gear consisting of Rogue Audio's 99 Super Magnum, my Stereo 100 with KT120s, Pass Labs XP15, and my VPI Classic 2 fitted with a Dyna 20X2L. Making the only change in the system the OnePlus Ones and the supplied cables audience sent over. As the needle dropped on Ben Howard's Old Pine, I sat back and patiently waited for the audience OnePlus Ones to pry open my eardrums and stuff something awesome inside. As the first notes rang out, I had to remind myself, okay, Ron, these are bipole speakers. That little three-inch driver on the back is going to want some room to breathe. Bottom line, folks, without tearing apart the OnePlus Ones and spending the next five minutes going over negative Nancy note-taking, I will leave it at this. I had some work to do to get these little guys dialed in. Everything that I was hearing confirmed that an active bipole speaker has no business brushing shoulders with a front wall. Pulling the speakers into the room seemed like the best thing to try first, so I moved the stands towards the listening position about a foot or so and got back to the record. With the sound stage opening up a bit more, I took note of the vocals starting to pop with more clarity, but there seemed to be this weird hollow sound in the vocals that got me thinking more about placement. When in doubt, read the manual. And there it was, right in front of me. I gotta say, I'm slightly embarrassed to admit I didn't think of it right off the bat. Tow the speakers in towards the listening position. Well, duh. That's like Hi-Fi 101. Sure enough, bringing the speakers in and pointing the drivers just behind the listening position, voila. Hollow sound, Sayonara. Pulling the speakers yet another foot into the room, I found a shift in coherence that a single wideband driver is known for, an instrument starting to take their proper place in the mix without feeling disjointed. With the vocal issues being addressed with Toen, I was able to focus on the bass, and while I didn't feel a ton of energy in the room, 
I was able to hear each note with enough clarity to satisfy. With the one plus one sounding better and better with each move I was making, I still felt like what I was craving for was more, more room, more air. So I did what any level-headed audiophile would do while their loved one was away. I, I, oh man, not a chance on that one, tough guy. Sarah's at the gym and that ain't gonna happen. Not even on a good day. That's it. Use your legs. Put that oversized one-pack stomach muscle to work, man. There you go. Now we're cooking. Catching my breath and yanking the one plus ones out even more into the room, I sat back down, and this time, folks, this time we had something worth chatting about. Something special, something refined, something bold and clean with edge-to-edge clarity. That's right, folks. The one plus ones were singing to me, and I liked what I was hearing. I liked it a lot. Now, I suppose you are probably wondering if you need to go to this extreme to get great sound out of the one plus ones. Well, everything has trade offs in audio and hi fi, but I gotta say, folks, if you wanna check out what I would consider a disappearing act and Witness the new record day definition of transparency? Well, I'm here to tell you, based on what I was hearing, audience wrote that book and with the one plus ones yanked out into the room, class was in session. Now that the one plus ones were stretching their legs and I got these speakers locked in where I love them, I moved on to the black keys attack and release to see how well these little speakers do when asked to bark loud with rocking authority. Reaching an easy 90 plus decibels in my room, the bass on the one plus one stood out with the kick drum thumping. The one plus ones sounded deep enough to convince me the guys and gals at audience aren't up to fuzzy math when it comes to making claims these little speakers dig down to the oh, 50 to 60 hertz regions without blushing and great embarrassment. Now listen. I don't want to oversell the bass, so it's important to understand that while I could clearly hear the notes being played, I certainly didn't feel the bass as I do with a larger speaker. Switching things up, I headed back to the Classic 2 and tossed on Cat Stevens' T for the Tillerman, trying to pinpoint where I feel the real strengths of the One Plus Ones are. As the first couple notes rang out and the stage swept the room with enough precision to please the most demanding ear, I knew without a doubt that what these little speakers love is acoustic instruments. As the chorus of Where Do the Children Play blossomed and wrapped around my ears like little treats of hi-fi, I found so much flipping detail oozing out of these speakers that I knew right then and there. All the hard work of positioning these guys was well worth it. Yep, Now is a good time for me to declare my absolute affection for the One Plus Ones as a speaker thoughtfully designed for anyone who wants to hear the truth in music. Trying out another favorite, Lord Huron's Lonesome Dreams, I dropped the needle and made my way through well-recorded acoustics and incredibly expansive soundscapes. Standing on the shoulders of the mighty One Plus Ones, I heard guitars that hung in the air, surrounded by backup vocals that looked at my sidewalls, laughed at them, and replaced them with an invisible gateway to a soundstage so far to the left and right that you sometimes forget what's around you. By the time I made it to the fourth track, The Ghost on the Shore, I was ready to end this review with a stamp of approval from New Record Day, as long as people were willing to play around with getting these speakers dialed in, because folks, your patience will be rewarded. As days turned to weeks and weeks turned to months, I kept coming back to the One Plus Ones. Heck, I even replaced my not-so-audiophile-approved speaker stands with much, much better homemade stands, thanks to my brother John's handyman work. These babies are braced, full of sand, and solid as a flipping rock, further confirming that squeezing every last drop out of the One Plus Ones was well worth the trouble. Oh, And speaking of squeezing every last drop, I do find experimenting with the grills off do make an audible difference with the One Plus Ones. 
giving just a tad more extension and clarity on the top end. Something else to consider with the OnePlus Ones. They are rated at 87 decibels of sensitivity. So I was wondering how well these mate with lower wattage amplifiers. So I did try swapping out all my gear with a first watt B1 passive pre and a class A F6 which throws out 25 watts at 8 ohms. While the combo sounded nice enough to play music, I'm going to suggest that you stick with higher wattage options for the OnePlus Ones. A new record day review wouldn't be complete without some comparisons. Having the similar priced R610s in-house seemed like a good match, and while the design approach of these speakers are completely different, this helped me focus on the OnePlus Ones, making it easier to articulate their strengths and abilities. Top end on both speakers is right where I want it to be. Clear as a bell and enough extension to squeeze out every last drop of cymbal hits, micro details, and acoustic guitars, and every single cough, chair squeak, or anything else you might find waiting for you in your favorite recordings. All in all, I feel like the top end extension of the OnePlus Ones was shockingly good for a single driver. While this little 3-inch driver kept pace with the R610s, I believe the 610s offered a tad more shimmer to the extreme top-end frequencies. Mid-range and vocal content was the most difficult thing for me to dial in with the OnePlus Ones, but once I had these little guys singing, anything ranging from Etta James to Freddie Mercury sounded natural with a couple notches on the detail side of the swimming pool. If you're like me and you look forward to hearing little surprises in recordings that you have heard a million times, the OnePlus Ones will deliver the goods. Comparing them with the R610s, I feel like we're splitting hairs for the most part, with one exception, and that would be the dynamic impact the larger Ryans were able to handle. When cranked, and I mean cranked, it sounds like the mid-range is more composed and put together without smearing in a sense of compression which comes to no huge surprise with the larger design of the R610s. While I'd say the OnePlus Ones fought a commendable battle against the R610s in treble and mid-range, the R610s certainly leveled the playing field with a much stronger bass foundation and robust mid-bass. If there are any excuses that audience would ever need to give on the performance of the OnePlus Ones, bass would be it. After reading every previous OnePlus One review that I could get my hands on and seeing so many reviewers trip over their own words when trying to navigate this, I decided I'll make it simple and cut to the chase. If you like to feel bass and you don't have a subwoofer, or you have no desire to incorporate a sub into your system, I'd say you're better off looking elsewhere than the OnePlus Ones. While they can play some seriously deep notes, look, this is physics here, people. There is only so much that little speaker can do, and if remodeling the walls of your house is on the honey-do list, the OnePlus Ones might disappoint. Now, if you happen to be open to the idea of integrating a sub and using the OnePlus Ones to handle top-end extension, mid-range, and imaging, well now that, my friends, is a party that I would definitely show up for. Typically, I would have taken the time to toss these little guys into the office and share my impressions of the OnePlus Ones in a desktop environment, but I'm going to avoid misleading you to believe the OnePlus Ones can do everything right regardless of the living conditions. Reality check. Because these are bipole speakers and that rear firing active driver is singing away, you must have a minimum of 18 inches to work with from the front wall at all times. Placing these guys in a room with them backed up to the wall will only lead to headaches, so consider your placement options prior to smashing that checkout button. The OnePlus Ones are a high-resolution speaker that brings their A-game to the playing field. Audience certainly deserves recognition, and these little 3-inch drivers are a real contender in the world of hi-fi. 
being realistic about the placement challenges that might not work in everyone's listening room, I do think audience has their work cut out for them to convince everyone to take the plunge and pull the trigger. What I would be most interested to know is how these small speakers sound when combined with a subwoofer, because I gotta say here, guys, the top end extension, mid range resolution, and imaging of the OnePlus Ones is nothing short of incredible. Well done, John McDonald. You guys have a new fan here at New Record Day. Now, do me a favor go make me a subwoofer and let me give it a whirl. Well, folks, there you have it. I'd like to take the time to thank John McDonald and audience for sending out the OnePlus Ones. You guys are most welcome here at New Record Day. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. We would love to hear from you. Peace. Take it easy. Crap. I was afraid that would happen. Thank you. Oh, it's so much better. It's nice and quiet. Appreciate it. <laughs> and and this is how it all starts. <laughs> and <laughs> well, actually, I can't. I'm te I'm tethered to a cable. You can chase me, and I can't get you. This is the new record day studio. You need to back off. <laughs> this is a new karate. It's, it's a new karate move. Being able to give these things some room to breathe. Breathe. Now I'm making up words. You guys got to give them room to breathe. We're going to debrief the one plus ones. The debrief them. Make sure they're breathing.